today I'm going to be doing a Motel Rocks haul because I recently bought some pieces that I really really wanted from Motel and I'm really really excited to show you. I usually order stuff from Motel, I got my birthday dress from Motel which I think I am going to also show you in this video or if not then I will just like put a picture in now. It's like the first thing that I ever bought from Motel and it was really nice. I had like a couple of little issues with it like some of the threads were like coming off it and the fabric pulled really easily. The sizing was a little odd. Um, this dress is in a size small. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try the other pieces that I got on for you. And yeah, I'm super duper excited to show you. Half of them are from the um, Olivia Neal Motel collection because I adore Olivia and her clothes are gorgeous. Let's just like go ahead and get into the video. So the first item of clothing that I've got to show you are actually the denim shorts that I'm wearing currently. So these are the denim shorts. They are the mom shorts, I believe, and they're in the dark denim. Um, these are in a size small. I probably could have gone for an extra small because that's like what's these on them, but honestly, I'm happy with the fit of them. Um, I just really love the like longer baggy shorts that have been on trend this year, and I hope they stay in trend because I don't know, I just feel like no other denim shorts have ever suited me. Um, and I do actually really like these ones. They aren't necessarily the most flattering because I don't have like the best shape in the world um, But I still think they're really cute Why do I look so like pale? I look so strange. The next item of clothing I've got to show you is a cardigan and it is this gorgeous strawberry print cardigan. It's literally so soft um, It's such nice material in a small could have got away with an extra small. This is honestly so cute with the shorts. Maybe like a white vest top instead of this one. But the pattern on this cardigan is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, I definitely could have gotten away with an extra small. Honestly, this is so cute. Um, yeah, it's super duper soft, really high quality. I'm pretty sure it does say you're supposed to hand wash the cardigans. But if I ever get like cardigans or knitwear like this and it says you have to hand wash it, I usually just put it on a cooler setting. Um, but obviously I haven't tried these cardigans yet, so I'm not 100%. Um, but they are so, so gorgeous. The pattern is literally beautiful on these and yeah, I've already worn this and it's so, so cute. So this is the first item I've got to show you from Olivia's collection. And it is of course the Baby Shroom cardigan. So this one is in a size small, but again, I could probably have got away with an extra small. Um, again, this is such a soft cardigan. And the pattern on it is again, absolutely adorable. This one's got a little color as well, which is really cute. And you can have this where it's done all the way up as like an actual top, or you can wear it open like this as a cardigan. I've already worn this a couple times and I've had so many people compliment me on it and ask me where it's from. These are really warm as well. And I wore this the other day with a white vest top and flares, black flares, and it was so cute. From Olivia's collection, I also got the 70s purple, black and grey um, flare trousers and they are so cute. Um, I did have a little issue with the sizing on the um, flared trousers because I got these and another pair which you'll see in a minute um, and I originally ordered a small and they just did not fit right like I didn't I wouldn't have felt comfortable going out in them but they fitted like that they were just really baggy around the crotch and they were just like slightly too long like the waist would have fitted okay but I just wasn't like comfortable with how it looked around like my thighs because every time that I've seen like a picture of people wearing this style of trouser from Motel, they've always been super skinny on their thighs and then obviously flaring out after the knees. And they just don't look like that on me. Um, so I ordered them both in a small and then I've sent those back and we ordered an extra small. Um, I only like sent them back yesterday though, so I'll see how the returns process goes because um, my friend Etta said that Motel take forever to refund you, so. I'll update you on that and see how that goes, but I do have these. These are in an extra small. So this is what they look like. They are gorgeous. They're super stretchy as well, so this is what the top looks like. Um, and they're still like quite baggy around my thighs. You can see that they are like flared. They are like a tiny bit long for me. I'm 5'5 for reference. 
Um, but with my Air Force, then I'm like fine to wear these. Yeah, the print is so, so cute. I wear these with like black or white shoes, um, a black or white top. I've actually got a Star Wars graphic t-shirt that's like um, purple print on it. So I want to really, I really want to try wearing those with these trousers. The only thing is they've got belt loops, but they don't have pockets. Like, I just love like pockets on the back just so, because I always put my phone in my back pocket. Um, and these don't have back pockets, which I think is a huge design flaw. Um, but yeah, these are really, really nice. The other pair of flared trousers I got are from the Barbara Christopher. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but they're from her collection. And they are the pattern that is absolutely gorgeous. It's the blue and green flower pattern. Like, how pretty is this pattern um and they're just the same flares again i've still got the label on these because i haven't worn these yet um but you can see a bit more like what i mean about them being baggy around like my thighs but these are much like i'm much more comfortable in the extra small than i am in the small and then this is what they look like all the way down like i feel like you can't tell they're like as flared because they're not as tight around my thighs but I still do really, really love. I'm planning to style these with um, little vest tops that are the same shade of green because I really, really love this green color and I've got a couple vest tops in them with my white Air Force. I think it will just be such a good look. I'm planning, I'm going on holiday as well. So I'm gonna take these on a holiday with me and it will just be like an absolute vibe. Well, hopefully it will, I don't know, but as you can see, these are like a tiny bit tight on my waist, but it's fine. They hold me in and I will take, I will take anything holding me in at this point. So yeah. The last thing I got from hotel is the classic iconic Olivia Neal um, motel dress. So, oh God, I can't believe I'm gonna put myself looking like this on the internet. So this is the dress. I have worn it out. And it is very nice, however, if you are slightly bigger on the chest, and I mean if you're like medium to bigger on the chest, it's probably not going to be the most flattering dress on you, um, just because, uh, I don't know, I just feel like clothes brands, like whether it's H&M, Motel, like anywhere, literally only design clothes for people with smaller boobs, and that's just like not majority of the market. It's a super cute dress. Um, and I think the length on it is quite all right as well. This is a small, it is a cute dress. Um, do I think it's the most flattering on me? No, I'm still gonna wear it though. Another thing I'd say is that the straps are adjustable. However, they slip down really, really easily, um, which also doesn't help like the boob situation. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Well, I'm not, I don't even have that big of boobs, but I don't have small boobs. So, um, because I can like downsize to extra small with everything else, I probably would stay with a small on the dresses, especially if they're these ones which have like the specific cutouts. However, this dress is still really, really cute. Um, it's very different from anything that I own. So yeah, I do enjoy that. If I leave you with one piece of advice for shopping from Motel, definitely look for the discounts. Also, sizing. Motel sizing essentially is an extra, extra small is the equivalent to a 6, an extra small is the equivalent to an 8, small is equivalent to a 10, and so on and so on. Um, don't bother looking at size guides, because I looked at the size guides and like I could have sized down. So yeah, that's that's all I'm going to leave you with. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did, and make sure you subscribe to see more videos from me. Um, I'm honestly a shopaholic, I absolutely adore shopping for clothes. I really need to get rid of some though, like I've got so many clothes that I just don't wear anymore but I feel guilty about getting rid of them, however I'm probably going to try and sell them on Depop or something like that. Any tips for selling clothes as well, please leave them in the comments. Yeah, that was it for my video, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you in my next one, bye.